Hi, today we're going to be talking about something called FedCoin. It's a, it's a central bank digital currency. We're going to be talking about what kind of problems it solves, what benefits it might bring us, the risks involved in it, other options, and basically an overview of how it works. As I said, FedCoin is a central bank digital currency. What happens with FedCoin, it helps manages, it helps to manage the nation's money supply. Also, as the Fed in the United States and most central banks, it also figures in the sense of the lender of last resort. It is an also separate independent financial system. Um, and the purpose of the Federal Reserve and FedCoin would be to overserve, oversee commercial banks and things of that nature. Let's talk a little bit about digital currencies. There are cryptocurrencies, as you probably know, they are digital currencies. There are virtual currencies, which we've been using for many years. And now we have something called CBDC, Central Bank Digital Currency. So why do we need it? Why do we need a digital currency? Well, basically, most of the world is not banked. There is, there's a need for decentralized banking, not putting in huge infrastructures with branches. It can be done now simply by using satellites or the internet. So there's no need to build physical structures. All they need is a phone. There's basically 56 million Americans alone that don't have a bank account. And almost two billion people throughout the world don't have a bank account. One of the purposes of central bank digital currencies is to reduce the cost of payments and also to speed up the time for settlements between two people. Now, mobile payments, what it also allows for is obviously the mobile payments. You can also it may play a role, it will play a role in lending, and more importantly, in cross-border cross transactions. So how does it work? It works on a private blockchain, and I've done videos on blockchain, I will do some more in the future, but it's a, set, it's a private blockchain, but it's sort of a hybrid as well. It has connections to the commercial banking system. You carry an intermediary wallet, which which would be on your phone. And one of the biggest benefits is that it takes central bank digital currency, particularly the Fed coin, takes a lot of liability away from the commercial banks. There are some elements though to be concerned with, and that's privacy. That's a huge problem. Um, the underground economy. Now that everything is going to be digitized, there's really no need for paper money. It's going to yield a higher tax collection rate. There's going to be extremely strong regulation requirements. And one of the biggest problems is going to be educating the public about them not using paper currency anymore. So it also will be sort of used in addressing the problems that exist in other cryptocurrencies. So eventually, it's going to look like there's going to be a total confiscation of paper currency. And this will certainly help the role of commercial banks. Now, there are some projects that are being done with uh, central bank digital currencies. The World Economic Forum, the World Economic Forum has some toolkits. Um, 86% of the countries in the world are considering some type of central bank digital currency. There are 60, there, there, or there's a tremendous amount of ongoing projects. Um, the Bahamas have something called the Sand Island Dollar, which is, I believe, the first of any federal type of digital currency. The, Fed, the Federal Bank of Boston and MTI and MIT are working on programs. Nigeria is the first African country to adopt this. So this is very real. 
This is very real. So, there are major banks looking to work with this. All the major banks, Wells Fargo, even places like MasterCard realize that this is where we're going. So, the biggest concern we're going to get is privacy, um, getting the public used to the lack of using a paper currency, and also the under, underworld economy, uh, the, the, the economy that, that's not, I'm going to say for word illegal, that's the best way, how that's going to be impacted. I'd like to thank you for your time. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, and have a great day. Bye.